welcome back everyone so if you are on an amd processor and enjoy the gaming then you must have these best amd settings for more fps and the best performance so in order to bring up the amd software either you can right click on the desktop and click on amd software or you can also search by clicking on windows search and type amd you will be getting the amd software click on it click on yes and the amd dashboard will be coming up now here the very first thing that you have to do you need to make sure that your amd software is being updated so that you should have the updated feature and settings so what you can do either you can click on the setting gear icon and in the system you will be getting the amd software and if there is any update available it will let you know so on my end you can see i have the update available so i will click on download and it will start downloading and updating the latest software so you will have to wait until it's all been done and once it get downloaded it will ask you to install so you will have to click on install and in the next page it will say you that it will be installing the amd ready on graphic this will be the version and in the additional option if you want to go with the full install you can go with it if you only want to go with the driver only or the minimal install so that's all up to you you can choose from the drop down i will go with the full install and if you also want to do the factory reset then you can go with this option you can check it and then finally you have to click on install all right so finally the software has been updated so now you will have to click on finish click on yes and now again you need to bring up the amd software and in case if it's not coming up then you can go better uh, restart your computer and then just open the software again this time you can see it has come up with some kind of new navigations and new options so now we are good to go and make some kind of changes over here all right so first you have to click on gaming section from the top menu option then in the gaming either you can select any game and optimize it or you can simply click on graphics so yeah, the very first option that you will be getting will be radio on anti-lag so this option you will have to enable it next is radio on boost radio on chill radio on image sharpening you have to disable all these three options the next you have to enable radio on enhancing as it will be reducing the visual tearing and the lagging problem then click on advanced frame rate target control you have to disable it anti-aliasing you have to click on the drop down and choose override application settings anti-aliasing level will be 2x and the anti-aliasing method will be set to multi-sampling Morphological anti-aliasing, anisotropic filtering, these all will be disabled. Texture filter quality will be set to standard. Surface format optimization will be disabled. Tessellation mode will be set to override application settings instead of AMD. And maximum tessellation level you can select to off. OpenGL triple buffering will be again disabled. Reset shader cache if you want to reset it then you can go ahead and click on this arrow icon Alright, so once you are done now you can come to the display section AMD free sync if it's been supported on your end then you will have to disable it It's not supported on my graphic card. So I will keep it uh, Nothing Virtual super resolution it will be disabled GPU scaling will be disabled A scaling mode will be set to preserved aspect ratio Then you don't have to make any changes here on the right hand side custom color you have to select to disabled all right so these are the basic settings that you have to apply in order to get the best gaming performance additionally what else i would recommend you go back to the game section select your game and make sure that you have the same setting for your particular game that we have made changes before so once you have applied all these settings, you can go ahead and again restart your computer. And after that, I'm very sure you will find a great difference. Apart of that, it's also recommended that you should optimize your windows for the best performance without any kind of lag and for maximum FPS. I've already created a video on that. You can check that video as well so that you can optimize your windows so that you can get the best performance. So that's all guys for today. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.